Hey guys, welcome back to Objective Reviews. I'm Nick and today we are going to be taking a look at something you guys have been asking me to take a look at and we're finally going to be doing it. I'm talking about Homebridge. Now for those of you all who don't know what Homebridge is, well first we'll have to know what HomeKit is. Now simply put, HomeKit is an ecosystem of hardware and software that work together to automate some daily things in your life at home or at your office. Now a quick example would be the smart locks. Now there are smart locks that works with Apple's home app where you set everything up and as soon as you approach the door you can say hey Siri open the lock and the lock is opened. That's it. Well similar to this Homebridge brings similar kind of support to devices like hardware that does not support it. Now these ear lights running behind me are a good example of this. They do not directly support HomeKit but they do run on Wi-Fi. Now, as long as I have Homebridge running on the same network as the one these lights are connected to, everything's gonna just work fine. But what do I mean by that? Well, what Homebridge does is brings the support to control these lights from the home app and using Siri right on my phone. So that's great. So let's quickly check out how to get this installed. Now, first of all, what you need to do is go to GitHub and go to Homebridge web page and install Homebridge. Now, what kind of devices can you install Homebridge on? Well, any computer that you run 24 seven in your house. Now, I have a dedicated server for the house, which is running 24 seven. It's a very low power server that does a few couple of things on a constant basis, and I can definitely use it. So that is what I'm running it on. But Homebridge runs on anything that can run Node, and that includes Windows, any Linux, just Pro, and Mac OS. More surprisingly, it can also run on a Raspberry Pi because it runs Linux. So if you don't have a server that is running 24 seven in your house or a PC that is running 24 seven in your house, you can just get a Raspberry Pi and run it on that. Pretty cool. Now all of this will work as long as it's on the same local network. Now to figure out what kind of devices are supported, you have two options. Number one, check for the plugins that are already available. Check the devices for which the plugins are available. And this is very simple to do. On GitHub, just type in Homebridge space plugin. That's it. And you'll get a list of plugins and repos that open source code that people have written and shared with us so we can use our devices with Homebridge. Pretty fantastic, isn't it? So now once you have all of that sorted out and you may or may not already have this hardware, you can just start using it after installing the plugin. The instructions for all of this are on the Homebridge webpage, so go check it out there. No point in me explaining it to you all over again. The second option is that you know how to code. You can read other people's code, figure out how they've done something and write your own code for hardware that you think you want to bring onto this ecosystem. Now, Homebridge was initially written by Nick Farina as a personal project and now it has an entire community revolving around it. People are writing their own plugins and Nick is obviously uh, maintaining the Homebridge repo itself. So this has really caught up and it gives people like me a lot of flexibility on the kinds of things we can do with this. Now this works for me in terms of these yield lights because I can get these really nice looking backgrounds in my videos and do this. Well, Kylo is pretty happy with the kind of light treatment he's getting and you can see him nod in the S's. So you can do really cool effects with this and this really plays well for B-roll. And to quickly show you that this does in fact work with Siri, let's do a test. Hey Siri, turn off the lights. Okay, the lights are on. Oops. Hey Siri, turn off the lights. Okay, the lights are off. Now let's turn them back on. Hey Siri, turn on the lights. Okay, the lights are on. Are they on? Oh yeah, they are. So there you go. This is pretty cool. Now you can take this a step further and if you have an iPad that is at home all day or an Apple TV, if you already have it, you can set 
that as a bridge. Now that bridge is going to act as a controller and what you can do is set up to turn on all the lights during sunset which is what I have going on and then at a set given time at night you can turn them off or set it to a different scene. And you can control all of these lights or these peripherals, the hardware, uh, based on different different rooms. So you have say four of these in a particular room and another four in another room, maybe a living room. You can control all of these separately. You can also set up scenes where you have different colors for different bulbs or the same colors for the same bulbs and let's check it out. So I have this one which is my classic uh, blue and cyan which I use a lot for gaming. Well, it's actually green but it's going to appear cyan on the camera right now. And then I have this blue and red which I use for objective reviews videos uh, because it creates a purple mesh. And then I have this one called relax which is just very mellow yellow light set at I think 35 or 50 percent brightness and that is really kick-ass if I want to uh, be in my bed and read something on my iPad or take down notes on my iPad or if I'm just watching some TV. Now all of this is really really great and a big thanks to Nick for making Homebridge and making all of this possible. A big shout out to him. So I wouldn't call this video a review of anything as much as bringing you this information and showing you what is possible. It's really easy if you know what you're doing and even if you don't, it's still pretty easy. Like, come on, just a few commands you type and everything is just smooth. So do go and try it out and let me know down in the comments how your experience was. If you find out something new, do let us know and I'll look forward to reading your comments. Well, if you like this video, hit the like button if you disliked it. Let me know why you disliked it. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.